Hello there. Hi there. How are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're well. I hope you are doing fine in this strange time that we are all in. And you're just watching videos, so you somehow came across mine. Yay! <laughs> so, I decided to do an OC that I haven't drawn for like a month. I don't know. She's one of my favorites. Actually, I have a lot of favorites. They're all my favorites, let's be real. But, uh, I need to actually draw a couple other characters, because you guys don't know any of them. You've probably seen this one before if you saw one of my other speed paints. Uh, this is Lutta. She is one of my older OCs. She's not, like, my first OC, but she's also not one of my latest ones. She was, like, in that first realm of OCs, which I feel like I gotta draw my first OC after this, because I love her, too. She was- <laughs> she was one of the first ones not named a Japanese name. <laughs> Lutta is actually- okay, so- has anybody ever seen or read Guardians of Gahul? That book series was my shit growing up, okay? I read those religiously. It's the reason why I love owls as much as I do. And I always thought that Catherine Lasky always did a lot of dirty because she had a chance to reform and she had a chance to be a better person, but she just didn't get that chance. So she got to be her own person in my OC. She has like little bits of her, I guess, but not so much because, I mean, she is still my character, I guess. She just has the name and like some general inspirations. Uh, her original design, if I can find it, I'll put it on screen, but it's a... Uh, she was like my first character that I kind of gave like a quote-unquote Lolita style. It was gothic Lolita, very like based on, if anybody was on the internet, in 2000, what, this was like 8th grade for me, 7, 8, 2007, right? I think that's around the time. If any of you guys were on there, there was a website that had basic Lolita fashion, and it's definitely grown a lot, and there's some really awesome, like, info on what Lolita fashion is. I'm definitely not the person to go to for understanding what it is, because I only know the basics. I just got really into the style because I was also kind of a weeb and Japan was like the thing that I really loved. So that's a thing. Anyway, Lutta kind of started off as a completely different kind of design and then I decided around college to change her up almost entirely, chop off all her hair and gave her like this cute style. And then she became a dancer, now she's also a witch. I just, I don't know, I really like that a lot. She's really cute. And I'm actually really happy with this drawing, like, what the heck? Uh, if you saw my... which I'm gonna be uploading, I have to, uh, I still have to edit it, but you will be seeing it the day before this, uh, my March is honest, uh, you'll notice she is wearing the same outfit that I'm wearing. I like to give my characters outfits <laughs> that I wear. Lada is my go-to for some of the... for certain styles, and then I have another character called Lala, who has other styles that... they have different similar ha no they have different styles Lutta has more of the styles where she can move and Lala has more of the like just really cutesy designs because I really love dressing her up in cute designs I'll get to I'll get to those guys eventually because there's also a whole series of characters that I made for a comic with a friend but we ended up not doing that and I'm still gonna do something with them but they're all set aside for something else. So yeah, uh, I wanted to do something digital too because why not? I liked, I don't know, I, I just was sketching and then I was like, oh okay. And then I tried something different with my coloring style because I haven't really done like more detailed stuff and I think I still need to get more into that because I like just kind of cell shading and I don't do a lot of detail on hair. But I kind of want to try it a little bit in this. I didn't do as much as I, I should have, I think. I still think I should go back in maybe one day and fix it up, but I like how it turned out as is. I don't know why she just has a bird. I mean, oh, actually, kind of. It wasn't at the time something that I thought of, but back, back to Letta. If you've read Guardians of Cool, Letta was a character, just as a summary, Letta was a character who 
was something called a hag fiend or like a hybrid hag fiend and she like these hag fiends were like evil creatures and stuff they were born to be evil and then she kind of like escaped that and then she fell in love with this other owl and it was kind of because he was the first person to kind of treat her right and treat her like someone who deserves being treated well and then eventually she gets she, stuff happens and it's revealed that she is this character and she was because she was disguised as something else and she ends up dying with no real redemption like she didn't get to be loved she didn't get to have the thing that she really wanted which wasn't even anything bad it was just love and like the person or the owl that yes the character that this person fell in love with was her and she was just being herself and like it's just such a tragic thing for me i wish that it wasn't like that but at the same time it was a very classic like i don't know it was a very typical story of good and evil and stuff like that but it just it was sad so i was like no lotta you get you get it you get another chance <laughs> So I gave her another chance, and she's great. She's one of my favorite OCs. She's actually, like, I kind of turned her into, like, a witchy dancer. I don't know why, I just thought that would be cool. I have a tendency to pair up my characters with others, and she usually ends up with, uh, let's call him Shadow, Corvin, because Corvin's real name was Shadow. Actually, his real name was Kage, because I was a weave, but, you know, we'll get to him eventually again. I'll draw him again, because I like drawing him, he's fun. I don't know if there's anything else to say. March is on us is still going strong. You'll hopefully have seen that episode yesterday. I'm editing that all tonight because I have to still film one more chest run. And then I'll have an update on merch stuff coming up because I am going to be at a convention in August. I believe it's the end of August. And I it's called a game on. I've been to it a couple times. Last year was a lot better than the first year and I'm hopefully gonna have a lot more stuff this year. I have somebody who's going to hopefully be selling stuff with me. He has a really uh we haven't finalized that so we still gotta figure that out but I want to sell out more conventions but all the ones in Arizona sell out like instantly. Yay! Like I signed up for Taiyu and I signed up for Sabo but <laughs> nope. Sabo was sold out immediately. I knew that would happen, but I was hoping I'd get into Taiyu, but you know, it's whatever. Anyway, um, I think that's all that I have to say. If you have any suggestions or anything, um, or requests, let me know in the comments below. I am probably going to be drawing more OCs next week because I realized that I haven't drawn certain characters in a very long time, so I should draw them, because I love them. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, thank you for swapping by. I probably won't do a 400 vi subscriber video because uh, there's the people who just keep on subscribing is weird, I don't know, people like watching my stuff, question mark? Yeah, all right, well, that's 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 all the things I think okay enjoy <laughs> <laughs>